How's everybody doing today? Welcome to another episode of Smithtown Live. Today we are at Cafe Luhuti with Zineb, and she's going to tell us all about boba tea and a bunch of other things. So thank you for having us. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. And having me. Yeah. Where, where? Let's talk about Cafe Luhuti. Where did you get the name? It's really, it's like really such a cool name. Yes, uh, Cafe Lauti, I would love to tell you about this. It's not, it's so many people ask me about where this name comes from. It's a very unique, different, yeah. right? This is what I feel when I hear the Cafe Lauti name for the first time. Yeah. So it's a very simple little story behind that. Me and my husband just uh, watching uh, like television one day and we come to on the television. There's a little mountain, you can call it a little mountain hill maybe in the, one of the South Asian countries, Pakistan, where every year there is a festival conducted, where people just walk through there for the miles and miles because there's a no way of like uh, traveling through the vehicle. Okay. So people just walk through and spend their time there a couple of days to just connect their, themselves with the spirituality. And okay. that area calls the Lahuti. Okay. Yeah. So Lahuti exactly means like the connection with the spirituality, okay. spiritual connection. So it's like a spiritual mountain. A spiritual mountain, yeah. People just okay. go there every year, you know, to attend the festival. To go and this, connect with yeah, nature. Yeah, there's no and... television, no internet, wow. nothing. Disconnect themselves from the world and they spend like a days there wow. on, on that area to just connect themselves with the spirituality. And okay. that area is like Lahuti. <laughs> Okay, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, so your specialty here really is um, boba tea, yeah. right? So tell us a little bit about boba tea and the history of, of boba, etc. Of course, like uh, I started drinking bubble tea back five years back. Like uh, I was a coffee drinker, I was a tea drinker. I was myself like from the culture where like a tea has been a very important, uh, you know, important thing of for the day. You know. Okay. Yeah. So, so just uh, five years ago, I started drinking. That's how I got addicted into the bubble teas. I start like buying and just start making it at my home. Experimenting. Experimenting. Yeah. So bubble tea is actually like uh, innovated from the Taiwan. Okay. Yeah. And uh, after that, it just stresses the history. Just people start liking it, and uh, it's just getting its hype all around the world. Now okay. there's uh, many Asian countries, and like they are exporting the like tapioca balls and the bubble tea stuff. Now, that's how I just get uh, involved in this thing. Okay. And I know I've had um, like the jasmine milk. It's a very one of the popular um, teas here, yeah. It's very um, delicious. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, there's really for me there's no words to describe it, especially when you put the boba in it. It's yeah, like, exactly. It's um, it's definitely like a dessert. We definitely take um, it as a privilege, like uh, when people come here and try the boba for the first time in their life, literally. And, yeah. Uh, they just drool. And yeah. we also having the people like coming here, the boba drinkers, you know, almost every day. Oh, and really? Yes, of course. Uh, people, this is actually the new, almost a very new way of just consuming the caffeine. Okay. Right? It's the bubble teas of the caffeinated drinks, and it has a decaffeine as well. It's a variety of like of flavors in it. Okay. Yeah. And you also have your own ice creams. Yes. That are your. From what I understand, they're your creations, right? This is, of course, this is all the recipes that uh, I, I know how to make the ice creams. I generally take the classes, schools, I learn in the schools how to make the dozens. Ice cream was one of the things there. Okay. Yeah, so as the bubble tea is like the whole thing, a lot of dedication into that. So okay. since we cannot make ice cream right in the house. Okay. So this is all the recipes. They're the companies that are taking their, your orders, customize your your own recipes to you, and deliver to your doorstep. Okay. Yes. So they're your creations, and you just have my them recipes, and my somebody creations, else's. somebody else makes for you and delivers this to you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And your your decor. I love your cup wall. 
Um, yes. Tell us a little bit about the idea behind that. That's yeah, well, it really comes to decor this area. You know, I always wanted to be like very creative with, yeah. with something like that. And the flowers, everything. You know, you can see it on the many places. But I wanted to do something very unique. Yeah. I was, I was. My plan was to keep the, like uh, the real glass kind okay. of cups, which was like then we decided it would not be a good idea to bring the whole entire wall of like, this. Okay. Yeah. It, it might cause any accident for the kids, you know, or yeah. something to fall on someone. So then we decided to go with the cute paper cups on it. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. So we're gonna watch you make some um, some boba. And then you can talk a little bit more about yeah. what, like, what makes your boba um, different than other bubble tea places yeah, in the course. area. So we can go of back course. there and um, we can talk about that. And by the way, coffee is delicious. Yeah. Thank you. So you're just getting ready to finish up this batch of delicious boba, right? Yes, they, are, they have been cooking for like a good 35 minutes already, but the whole process of the boba. Oh wow. Yes. And uh, this is just, uh, I could say, like halfway of the baking boba. After it will then really, we will press them in the same pot of butter for the another 25 minutes. Oh wow. And uh, once it's done pressing for 25 minutes, then we will like, filter the water, filter out the bubas from the starchy water, and again press them for 15 minutes in the brown sugar. Okay. This whole process takes it's like one hour. Okay. And this is not just for the one time we make it. It's the same process for a whole day. We keep we keep cooking like the bobas like in small batches all day in every two hours, I would say. Okay. Yeah. There it goes. It's off. It's so stopped. automatic. Yes. And uh, here we go. I'm going to keep it like the rest for it has a timer from another Five minutes. Okay, yeah. so most other boba places aren't doing small batch. What I know, like, uh, as my experience with the boba tea industry, is like, I don't know, like, uh, they make the big pots, big big jars, and they just like make the pots like once for a half day and let it go like for six, seven hours, maybe. Okay, yeah, or some of the bubble tea places use the pre made bobas, the tapioca also comes in pre made. You just and start serving. Okay. Yeah. But, oh, okay. But it doesn't give you that taste, that uh, softness, chewiness. Yeah. This is, this is the real way of making the tapioca that it's supposed to be like this. Awesome. It's a process of like all day. This is, I think this is the bobas that our, brings over. This is making of bobas everything with small hmm. batches. The freshness, chewiness, and the flavor of like brown sugar brings over customers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. It's like a um, like a texture. Texture of this because boba are like very temperature sensitive. Okay. And like if you keep them for more than three hours, they will lose its taste, texture, and I would say like almost everything. Oh wow! Like, when people just pay you, I believe and give them the quality. Yeah. Like you know, availability is everywhere, but how you could bring your customer back? To yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Awesome. You have a bunch of other equipment here. These are like shakers and and different things. This area is all dedicated to the bubble tea stuff. These there and down there, like extra bubble tea stuff. Okay. Yeah. This is where we make the bubble tea stuff. Okay. Powders that we create the like different delicious drinks. Yeah. Okay. And this is the shaker. Yeah. That we make sure that every drink has been shaken. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. So, what inspired you to do all of this and open up your own business? I, from very since my childhood, uh, strong, dedicated, successful woman always inspires me. Since my yeah. childhood, I would say. I mean, I mean, I wanted to be like that. Okay. Yes. So I I already knew from the very past many years that I want to do something my own. 
Okay. Something challenging. Okay. Something I always believe in this road where I can take my business to the world. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, and do you plan on expanding? Of course I do. This is not even the dream, I would say. My dreams are even bigger than that. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm, doing some I'm sort. working so hard to just make this business work. And it's still, and it's working, of course. Yes. It's working, and my plans are to make it like a franchise to bring more like Kapila Hootings, the quality drinks, into the other towns as well. Okay. Yeah, and I'm very dedicated about that. Wow, amazing. Yeah. So you have a vision far beyond just opening up one cafe. Of course, and uh, I always believe in the delivery, the quality. I, I strongly believe in that. Yeah. So, yes, awesome. one day, hopefully. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so very much. much.